To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. That's what my Uncle Paul always used to tell me. Thank you for gathering here together to pay your respects to one of the greatest men who ever lived and who has gone home to be with the Lord. My Uncle Paul was a feisty Jewish man. He was smart, he was funny, and but you know what? He was very, very religious. Out of the zealousness for God, what he would do was he would study the Old Testament and he followed it to the T. He loved God so much that at the end of his life, he ended up giving it up for the cause. But yet, that's not the greatest thing he ever did. His legacy is one of high respect amongst the community. His story really begins in Jerusalem at a time of crisis and turmoil. He spoke of a religious revolt and of the people, of the people that were following a new religion. He volunteered to be the person that would restore order by suppressing this new sect of belief. He was a hero to some in the Jewish community. One of the most memorable moments of my Uncle Paul was when he would tell me of that one day his whole life changed. Now every time Uncle Paul would tell me the story, his eyes would well up and he'd begin to tear. He was saying his funny accent. It happened one night when I and a couple people walked to the road of Damascus. A bright light hit and the voice knocked me to the ground. It says, why are you persecuting me? And I said, oh, wait. I said, Yahweh, Yahweh, is that you? But I knew then it was the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, he was convinced with every fiber of his being that he met him, the one, the savior of the world on that road. Now, converting to Christianity didn't quite go over so well with the Pharisees of whom Uncle Paul was a part of his whole life. So from then on, they wanted to kill him. And the Christians, the Christians really didn't trust him quite yet. Yet Uncle Paul knew what God told him, and he was obedient. Now God had instructed him to share the news of Jesus and that how he died for the sins of the world, and that through him that you can have salvation and share it, he did. Now he preached everywhere and he went against all odds. Now although many of us might be inclined to exaggerate our life, Uncle Paul never did. And as a matter of fact, many of his closest could testify of his trials and the sufferings that he went through to share this good news. My Uncle Paul and all his resilience had been blind for three days, had been in prison many times, yet even in prison would write letters to others encouraging them in the faith. He had been flogged 39 times on five separate occasions, yet would continue to preach. He had been left for dead again and again, but yet would get up, go back to that same place and preach that same gospel. He had been beaten uh, with the rod on three separate occasions, but yet would get up and glory to God, he'd be, he'd be happy that God got him out. He had been trapped in stone by people, but yet would get up and brush it off. He had been shipwrecked three times, spent a full day, full night in the ocean, and I could just see him now. Lord, got to get back to the land and preach the gospel. I could just see him. He had been hunted by bandits, Gentiles, and Jews, and some of his own fellow countrymen. Yet, he would still get up and walk that street and preach the gospel. Even betrayed by his own false brothers, and he would still show them love. He went without sleep, he labored, toiled, he was cold, he was hungry, he was thirsty, but yet he would get up and be glowing when he talked about the provisions that God would give him. Now it was said by, by his friends, when he told Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul, right? He would say, why do you live for Christ? And he would respond with all the passion inside of him by saying, because he died for me. He continued to spread the gospel of Christ. He, he wrote 13 books of the Bible. He planted many churches. And he lived through example in teaching others. It's not about religion, but rather about relationship. This is still not why he said he great though. Michael Paul was such an inspiration to everyone around him. And he obviously had the heart of God on his mind. Now, he had many reasons to boast, but he always boasted in God. But the one reason out of the many why I consider my Uncle Paul one of the greatest is because... He shared Christ with me. Grace and peace.